a commitment to cooperation. General Fan Changlong, the vice chairman of China's Central Military Commission, and American General Raymond Odierno oversee the signing of an army-to-army -army agreement on Friday. The deal, they say, will help improve coordination on a number of issues, like humanitarian relief, disaster response, and the fight against terrorism. Although there are times when our nations have differences, it's important that we come together and continue the dialogue between our nations and specifically our armies. But the road to broader military cooperation has, at times, been lined with mistrust. Washington has grown vocally critical and suspicious of Beijing's activities in the South China Sea. And Beijing has accused Washington of violating its sovereignty by spying on those activities from above. Points raised by officials from both sides at high-level meetings this week at the Pentagon, the State Department, and the White House. Chinese Foreign Ministry, Defense Ministry, and other government officials have reiterated China's stance on the South China Sea issue many times. We have warned the U.S. that the South China Sea issue is not a bilateral issue between China and the U.S. We are carrying out constructions in our own territory is reasonable and legal. China has called for an air-to-air -air agreement, like the Army one, that would help smooth over tensions. We are lucky that the two countries you know, both have realized the importance to cooperate and uh, uh, to sit down to find the uh, uh, compromise or solution uh, in overcoming these disputes. General Fan's five-day visit to the U.S. was not just about the future, but also the past. Outside of official engagements, Fan met with American veterans and their families and recalled an era not too long ago when both countries worked together. He thanked 91-year-old J.V. Vineyard, who was barely 21 when, as an American pilot, he flew to China to fight against Imperial Japan. The fact that I participated in, in the uh, operation to help China is one of the big moments of my life. I'll never forget it. Fan said the Chinese people won't forget it either. Neither side expected the general's visit would resolve all of the differences between the two countries, but it has arguably laid the groundwork for more discussions and perhaps a better environment in which to do so. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.